Welcome to the headquarters of CAL FIRE's Butte Unit and the Butte County Fire Department. This property, located at 176 Nelson Avenue in Oroville, has served as the fire department's headquarters in Butte County for more than 70 years. While the location is familiar, the facility is brand new, with eight buildings covering nearly 45,000 square feet of space. Join us for a look inside at some of the highlights. Hi, I'm Lisa Kohler, and welcome to the Butte Unit Headquarters Administration Building. Come on, let me show you around. This is the Administration Building. It includes 33 offices, which include our Chief Executive Officers, our Training Officers, and our Administration Staff. In addition to office space, the 10,100 square foot building has a reception area, a mail room, and a well-appointed break room. The building also contains this conference room that can seat up to 12 people for executive staff meetings or whatever else we need it for. And there's one more room in the administration building that deserves a closer look. I'm Jason Dyer. I'm the Butte Unit Training Bureau Battalion Chief, and I'm here to introduce you to our new training room. This training room uh, gives us the ability to split it into two separate classrooms so we can run two classes simultaneously uh, or we can utilize the room as a single larger classroom. The training room has three smart boards. These smart boards allow us to interact with one another on the screen and also uh, run scenarios with some of our cooperators and our partners. This room is also used for meetings in addition to just classes. Uh, the maximum capacity comfortably is about 50, 50 students. My name's Adam. I'm one of the fire apparatus engineers assigned here at Station 63 at Butte Unit Headquarters. And this is our apparatus bay where we keep all three of our engines. Here at the station we have uh, two, two Wildland engines and one Schedule A engine that serves the uh, local community. And here's the actual station itself. We'll come on in here. So in here is our, our dining hall and our kitchen. This is where we cook meals and eat together. Uh, we all sit together and we'll come up with a plan in the morning for training for the day. Kitchen, uh, where we prep all our food, store everything, our pantry. Uh, the kitchen's brand new, so it's pretty nice to have a big kitchen to cook in. And then over here is our, our day room where we uh, do some rest and relaxation, catch up on some news, uh, or in the evening times, you know, we'll, we'll hang out together. Down this hall is the, uh, our barracks, and it's a different plan than what we had before. Before we had an open barracks where, you know, it was wide open. Uh, this new floor plan now is more of like a hotel. So this is our uh, out, outdoor patio, a barbecue area out here. Uh, we come out here and hang out when the evening is nice and cool and we can bring families out here and spend time with them here. So in here is our workout area. We'll come down here and do our physical training for the day. Everybody here at the station, um, anyone that wants to work out that works here at headquarters, they're welcome to come in here and work out. So this is our hose rack. This is where we come in uh, after we're done from fires and we'll drop all our dirty hose off here. We'll wash it here, let it dry, and when it's ready to be put back in service, we'll roll it up and put it back on the hose rack. And here is our hose room. Right here in the corner is our air cylinders that we wear on our breathing apparatus for fires and our oxygen bottles for medical aids. Back here is our fire cache where we keep extra nozzles and appliances for the fire engines. And then back here in the corner is our hose rack where we keep hose ready to go, be put in service on the fire trucks for fires. Transport 2140 and its accompanying dozer also reside here. The large doors of the 1,700 square foot dozer shed allow the rig to be housed indoors while providing quick access in and out. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the logistics officer for Cal Fire Butte Unit, and this is the service center. The 10,000 square foot service center serves as the main point of entry for all shipments coming into our headquarters. I am responsible for the procurement and distribution of necessary supplies and equipment to 21 career fire stations, as well as volunteer stations throughout Butte County. I also support the needs of firefighting personnel at all types of emergencies. 
My name is Craig Sanderson. I'm the forestry equipment manager here in the Butte unit. I've been doing this now for 12 years. This is the new state-of-the-art auto shop at the headquarters facility. We can comfortably get six engines in here at the same time, work on them. Um, as you can see behind me here, we have these portable hoists. We have three sets of these hoists that we're able to lift the engines up in the air. We also have a 10,000 pound crane that uh, we're now able to do engine swaps. We can pull the whole engine out of a truck and replace it. We have overhead lube racks where we have our oils and greases coming in from outside in bulk storage so we no more have the roll around stuff. We also have over here in the last bay plates in the floor that we're able to unload dozers off of the trailer right in the shop um, underneath the crane to be able to do all that heavy work. We have a welding room and we have all of our machine stuff out there. This is probably the best shop that I've ever worked in in my career as a mechanic. Hello, my name is Rick Manson, Battalion Chief of the Oroville Emergency Command Center. Uh, today we'll give you a quick tour of kind of how the program works in here. We are responsible for all the 911 calls that are related to emergency responses from the fire department. Fire rescue, what is the address of the emergency? So as you can see here, we have numerous screens. Uh, it appears to be probably a little bit more complicated than it is. Uh, we have a CAD program that deals with all the dispatching. We have a phone system. We have a support computer that goes along with that and a map. We process about 15,500 calls a year, roughly. Of the numerous calls that we receive, we respond to, to various degrees of emergencies, whether it be uh, someone needing help up or all the way to uh, hazardous material spill or a water rescue. Uh, all those calls are processed through here and dispatched accordingly. We have numerous screens up on the wall and those are all tied to the alert wildfire cameras where we have the ability to zoom in and look at some of the landscape and identify smokes or get some intel on what we may be receiving as far as a 911 call. The ECC itself is also the hub for all of the radio and communications equipment for the entire unit. So we're responsible for all the handheld radios, all the mobile radios, uh, the repeater sites that sit up on mountaintops and the infrastructure there. In the center of the room, you'll see the roto cube, and that is a, just a manual tracking of all the resources we have in the county are assigned to different various uh, emergency incidents. So as you can see, uh, what seems to be very complicated is actually a very smooth process uh, based on the folks we have working in here. They do a great job uh, creating that first contact with the public during their time of need. Thank you for joining us on this video tour of our new headquarters. We appreciate the support of everyone in Butte County and look forward to using this facility to serve you for the next 70 years.